good morning children are you fine okay in this section we are going to discuss about a new topic lesson 22 world of microbes lesson 22 world of microbes what are microbes children do you know okay microbes are minute microscopic organisms microbes are minute microscopic organisms we can see only through microscope we cannot see our naked eye we can see only through microscope we cannot see our naked eye example bacteria virus fungi protozoa algae so what are microorganisms microorganisms are minute microscopic organisms we can see only through microscope we cannot see our naked eye example virus bacteria fungi protozoa algae clear okay so study of microorganisms are called microbiology study of microorganisms are called microbiology okay so the first scientist that is microbiologist and anyone even call discovered microscope and he said that many microorganisms are moving around that clear the first microbiologist and anyone even quark he discovered microscope and he said that microorganisms are moving around that okay so the microorganisms are found in everywhere we can see everywhere that is aquatic region terrestrial atmospheric and living host okay even some of the microorganisms are surviving in extreme conditions that is low oxygen content high salt content as well as less water bodies that's why the title is given world of microbes because microorganisms are found in everywhere clear children okay let us begins with the detail about bacteria okay so bacteria they are unicellular okay they are unicellular that means only one cell microscopic organisms and prokaryotic they are unicellular microscopic and prokaryotic organisms they do not have nucleus and cellular organelles they do not have nucleus and cellular organelles clear it they are motile or non motile so motile means moving from one place to another place non motile means they cannot able to move non motile means they cannot able to move so they are motile or non motile some special structures called flagella okay some special structures called flagella the flagella helps in movement okay that is with the help of flagella it can move from one place to another place clear it now we can see the length of bacteria okay so that is 1 to 10 micrometer length and width 0.2 to 1 micrometer width okay the size varies from 1 to 10 micrometer length and the width 0.2 to 1 micrometer width clear it children so they are unicellular microscopic prokaryotic organisms they do not have nucleus and other cellular organelles okay they are motile or non motile so motile means they can able to move from one place to another place non motile means they cannot able to move okay the length varies from 1 to 10 micrometer and width 0.2 to 1 micrometer clear it now we can see 
the saves of bacteria saves of bacteria waste are saves the bacteria are classified into three types waste on saves the bacteria are classified into three types they are cocci bacilli and spirilla cocci bacilli spirilla clear it based on saves the bacteria are classified into three types what are they they are cocci bacilli spirilla the first one is cocci okay so the spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci the spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci second one is bacilli the rod shaped bacteria like this the rod shaped bacteria are called bacilli okay first one i said to you cocci the spherical shaped bacteria like this the spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci the rod shaped bacteria are called bacilli okay the third one is spirilla so what is the shape spiral shape like this okay the spiral shaped bacteria are called spirilla spiral shaped bacteria are called spirilla okay tell me the types of bacteria based on saves the bacteria are classified into three types what are they they are cocci bacilli spirilla clear children okay what is cocci the spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci what is bacilli the rod shaped bacteria are called bacilli what is spirilla the spiral shaped bacteria are called spirilla clear it enough okay so next one is structure of bacterial cell structure of bacterial cell okay look at the picture this is bacteria clear okay it has cell membrane bacteria has cell membrane okay this is called cell membrane a plasma membrane so the bacterial cell has cell membrane clear it next it is covered by cell wall bacteria is covered by cell wall so second layer the first layer plasma membrane second layer cell wall clear it so bacterial cell has cell membrane it is covered by cell wall clear it outside the cell wall there is an additional protective layer is present that is called capsule this layer okay children this layer is called capsule so outside the cell wall there is an additional protective layer called capsule this capsule is made up of polysaccharide capsule is made up of polysaccharide okay next inner to the cell membrane this is cell membrane inner to the cell membrane cytoplasm is present this is called cytoplasm okay inner to the cell membrane what is present cytoplasm okay along with cytoplasm there are circular chromosomes as well as ribosomes and nucleoid is present okay nucleoid means it is not true nucleus so inside the cytoplasm what are the things are present so nucleoid dna and ribosomes nucleoid dna and ribosomes okay dna serves as a genetic material what is genetic material it carries characters from parents to children so dna serves as a genetic material okay ribosomes ribosomes helps in protein synthesis ribosomes helps in protein synthesis next in addition to that a circular chromosomal dna called plasmid this is called plasmid 
in addition to that a circular chromosomal dna called plasmid it is found only in bacteria it is found only in bacteria clear it what is plasmid a circular chromosomal dna called plasmid where it is present it is present in the cytoplasm okay so let's see once again structure of bacterial cell yes okay bacterial cell has cell membrane bacterial cell has cell membrane the cell membrane is covered by cell wall cell membrane is covered by cell wall outside the cell wall there is an additional protective layer called capsule there is an additional protective layer called capsule okay and in the to the cell membrane or plasma membrane a cytoplasm ribosomes genetic material that is dna and nucleus is present okay so nucleus this a not true nucleus next plasmid a circular chromosomal dna is called plasmid circular chromosomal dna is called plasmid clear children and you know? understand okay so what are the types of bacteria there are three types what are they cocci bacilli spirilla okay so what is cocci spherical shape cells are called cocci what is bacilli rod shaped bacteria called bacilli what is spirilla spiral shaped bacteria called spirilla okay what is plasmid a circular chromosomal dna called plasmid it is found in cytoplasm clear it shall we move to next one okay the next one is viruses so viruses latin means venom a poisonous fluid viruses latin means venom a poisonous fluid okay they are a cellular a cell replicating parasite a cellular a cellular means they do not have cell okay a cellular means they do not have cell absence of cell clear and self replicating parasite they multiply themselves okay self replicating parasites and they live in only living host okay they live in only living host clear it next a small virus particle is called virya what is virya a small virus particle is called virya okay it is smallest one but it lives in only animals plants and human beings even bacteria okay so virion is a small virus particle it lives in plants animals human beings and bacteria okay so it won't live in non living things okay it can easily transmit from one host to another host it can easily transmit from one host to another host clear it what are viruses viruses let it means venom or poisonous fluid they are a cellular or self replicating parasites a small virus particle is called virya okay it is the smallest one it can multiply themselves and it lives in animals plants human beings even bacteria clear it children so viruses are very small and minute organisms okay so now we can see the types of viruses okay the viruses are classified into three types viruses are classified into three types they are plant virus animal virus the third one is bacteriophage okay so viruses are classified into three types what are they plant virus animal virus bacteriophage clear children what are the types of viruses 
three types. What are they? Plant virus, animal virus, bacteriophage. Let us see one by one. The first one is plant virus. Virus that infect plants. Virus that infect plants. That is known as plant virus. Example, tobacco mosaic virus. Tobacco mosaic virus. Okay. Second one, animal virus. Animal virus. Virus that infect animals. Example, adenovirus. Example, adenovirus. Okay. So, animal virus. What do you mean animal virus? Virus infect animals. Okay. That is animal virus. Example, adenovirus. Third one is bacteriophage. Here, the virus infect bacterial cell. Clear? Virus infect bacterial cell. That is known as bacteriophage. Example, T4 bacteriophage. T4 bacteriophage. Okay. So, what are the types of viruses? Three types. What are they? Plant virus, animal virus, bacteriophage. Okay. What do you mean plant virus? Virus that infect plants. Example, tobacco mosaic virus. Tobacco mosaic virus. What do you mean animal virus? Virus that infect animals. Example, adenovirus. Example, adenovirus. What do you mean bacteriophage? Virus that infect bacterial cells. Okay. Example, T4 bacteriophage. T4 bacteriophage. Clear children? So, next one is fungi. Next one is fungi. So, have you seen fungi? Yes or no children? Seen, isn't it? During rainy season, we can see in our environment. Okay, what is that? That is mushroom, yes? Okay. So, fungi lack chlorophyll. So, what it will do? They cannot able to prepare their own food, isn't it? So, for nutritional needs, they depend on living cost or dead and decaying organic materials. Okay, for living cost as well as dead and decaying organic materials. Okay, so if it is living on dead and decaying cost, they are known as saprophytes. If fungi living on dead and decaying organic matter, they are called saprophytes. Clear children? If fungi living on living coast, they are called as parasites. So what are parasites? Fungi living on living coast. Okay, that is known as parasites. So living coast means what? They are human beings, animals, as well as plants. Okay. So saprophytes. What do you mean saprophytes? They are living on dead and decaying organic matter. Okay. That is known as saprophytes. Clear? So fungi lack chlorophyll. So they cannot be able to prepare their own food. For their nutritional needs, what they will do? They depend on living coast as well as dead and decaying organic matter. If living on living coast, they are called as parasites. If living on dead and decaying organic matter, they are called as saprophytes. Clear? So what are saprophytes? Fungi living on dead and decaying organic matter. They are called as saprophytes. Okay. Next, they are spherical in shape. Fungi are spherical in shape. Okay. And they are non-motile. That means, already I said to you, what do you mean non-motile? They cannot be able to move from one place to another place. Okay. So, sedentary. So, fungi are non-motile and spherical shape. Okay. The body of fungi is called thallus. The body of fungi is called thallus. Okay. Body of fungi is called 
thallus in multicellular fungus the body of thallus is called mycelium the body of thallus is called mycelium okay the body of fungi is called thallus in multicellular animal a fungi the body of thallus is called mycelium okay so mycelium is a complex structure mycelium is a complex structure each it is called kyphae so it is called kyphae each kypha is a tubular structure and filled with protoplasm so example we can take yeast this is example yeast okay so multicellular forms the body of thallus is called mycelium it's a complex structure each kypha contains a tubular structure called kyphae filled with protoplasm okay and in and to the protoplasm cellular organelles as well as nucleus is present cellular organelles as well as nucleus is present what do you mean cellular organelles already i told you isn't it children what do you mean they are mitochondria golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes okay next it is covered by cell wall it is covered by cell wall cell wall is made up of chitin or cellulose cell wall is made up of chitin or cellulose okay next in to the cell wall a small vacuole is present that is filled with cell sap okay small vacuole is present that is filled with cell sap okay small vacuole is present that is filled with cell sap clearing next the food materials are stored in the part of granules okay so the food materials are stored in the part of granules clear okay so once again we can see fungi structure of fungi okay so multicellular forms the body of thallus is called mycelium clear it children it's a complex structure and each complex structure is called kyphae okay and tube like each tube like kyphae is filled with protoplasm as well as nucleus and cellular organelles okay it is covered by cell wall it is covered by cell wall cell wall is made up of chitin or cellulose okay next the food materials in the form of granules how does fungi reproduce do you know children how does fungi reproduce fungi reproduce asexually sexually as well as vegetatively okay vegetatively asexually and sexually what do you mean vegetatively that is budding vegetatively means budding asexually means spore formation asexually means spore formation okay sexually means fusion of male and female gamete sexually means fusion of male and female gamete so fungi produce reproduce three types okay based on three categories the reproduction takes place okay the first one is vegetatively that is budding the second one is asexually that is spore formation a third one is sexually that is fusion of male and female gametes clear it children have you got it okay one more small topic priya okay it was discovered by stanley it was discovered by stanley so why the particle it do not have nucleic acid okay do not have nucleic acid but in virus that they have nucleic acid that is either dna or rna okay in virus they have nucleic acid either dna or rna but we are do not have nucleic acid do not have nucleic acid okay then what happens it found in neuron it is found in neuron it is found in neuron it is rod shape it is rod shape okay 
it induces changes in prota proteins that is leads to degeneration of nervous tissue that leads to degeneration of nervous tissue clear it so prion that is a small viral particle it do not have nucleic acid it is made of proteins it is found in neurons okay it change the nervous tissue what it will do what is the disease it change the nervous tissue clear it so what are prions prions are smallest viral particle it lives in lipid coast okay it do not have nucleic acid only protons clear it it is found in neuron rod shape and it cause diseases in nervous tissue cause diseases in nervous tissue clear it children what are prions prions are small viral particle found in neuron they do not have nucleic acid clear it shall you mark the questions okay check your book turn page number Two seventy one, Roman letter nine, page number two seventy one, Roman letter nine, question number two, back to your pages, answer, turn page number two sixty, turn page number two sixty, see back to your pages paragraph the two lines, clear it children, next question, Roman letter nine, question number four. Roman letter nine, question number four. Answer, page number two seventy. Page number two seventy. The closer is in, closer in in that prions, that line. Viral particle which contain only protein, first point. Viral particle which contain only protein, second point. They do not contain nucleic acid. Clear? Okay, children. Next one more question. Roman letter eleven. Question number one. Roman letter eleven. Question number one. Turn page number two fifty nine. Page number two fifty nine. See shapes of bacteria. Till spiral shaped bacteria called spirilla. With diagram. Have you got it? Page number two fifty nine. Shapes of bacteria. Bacteria. till spirilla with three diagrams okay thank you children